Again, we need to prove something. And we want to prove that the limit um, of this, this, in this case, should be the absolute value of x over x as x approaches 0 does not exist. Now, the process will be the same thing. The key thing with the absolute value is to break it down into what happened on the left of the vertex and what happened on the right of the vertex. So, in terms of solution, we're going to check on the left side uh, when we approach zero from the negative side, then the absolute value of f, f uh, I'm sorry, the absolute value of x over x will be, we'll use this part, so it will be negative x over x. And again, the negative, uh, we can replace it, we can, uh, this is a constant multiplier, so we'll take it outside the limit, like so, and now we have the limit of x over x, and of course it's negative 1. We approach from the right side, it's a straightforward. Okay. The absolute value of x is simply x, and it's positive 1. And of course, by definition, uh, they're not equal to each other. So the limit the absolute value of x of x as we approach from the left is not equal to the limit as we approach from the right. So, therefore, limit the limit of uh, this function as x approaches 0 does not exist. 